Hmm. Looks like I'm in Aperture Laboratories again. Don't have a portal then. Hmm, what's this? Place slash break. Hmm. What if I do this? Oh. What if I click it again? Oh, I see. Oh, I can push it. So, looks like I'm... Oh, this is a pretty easy test. I guess I'm just supposed to push this up against the wall here. Oh, I actually can't push it all the way. Uh, well, I can still jump from there. Let me go ahead and place it now so I can stand on it. There we go. That was an easy test. Hello everybody, it's Minecraft Common Five here, and as you just saw, we have the uh, block from Portal 2. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's uh, the Companion Cube, maybe. I don't know. Um, it's, it's a cube. Anyway, so did it with vanilla Minecraft, and yes, I'm using a resource pack, so that's why this stuff looks different. Anyway, I'll go ahead and go over the redstone. So I'll start by going here. So we're just executing at e name equals block to summon falling sand where it's standing, time zero, so only it's, it's only there for a second, drop item zero, so it doesn't drop the item, tile 35, which is wool, and data six, which is a uh, certain type of wool, I'm not quite sure, and motion, I just set 0 0.04, so it doesn't fall down, it just stays there, and that's how you get the block sitting there, and the block um, in the resource pack is block six, so the weighted companion cube, so that's what it is. So next, we have, we're executing at E, name equals block, so that is the armor stand that's actually standing there, I forgot to say that. To summon an armor stand, uh, one block beside it that's invisible and custom name one. And we have the same command, but custom name two in a different location for all these. And then we're executing my player to execute at E name equals one, so the armor stand to the side of it, in a radius of zero, to detect negative three blocks to be air, and if it is, TP at E name equals block negative one. So what that basically means is it's execute my player to execute the armor stand to detect if the block right here is air. And if it is, well not here, if I'm standing over here actually, it will execute my player to execute this armor stand here to detect three blocks over if it's air. And if it is, it will move the block. But if it's not, it won't. And if you go in game mode 3, you can actually see the armor stands there. And I can actually push them here. It's, well, I should be able to. There we go. You can actually see I'm pushing the block. And there's one in the middle. That The one in the middle is block, and the rest are 1, 2, 3, 4. So all the directions that you would need. And it actually snaps to the grid, which is pretty cool. So next down here, we just have kill IE name equals 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I, they're being deleted and summoned pretty much instantly. So that is how you move the block and how it appears there. So now I can't jump through it. So how do I get it? So when you right-click this, it places the block, and I can jump on it, and I can't push it anymore. And then when I right-click it again, I can move it like that. Well, that is done with this over here. So we have a redstone block here. It looks kind of weird with the resource pack. And we have a comparator timer going into this command block. Texting for all players, the score of R click block, minimum of one. And that is actually score. We went scoreboard, objectives, add, R click block, and then stat dot use item dot minecraft dot carrot on a stick. And I clicked enter. And when you right click this it sets your score to one so we're testing for our players with that right click the carrot on a stick with the score of one if it finds it turn the torch off and turn this one on so it's pretty much turning this redstone off for just a, like one second and then turning it back on and this torch turns on setting all players back to zero and this is a T flip flops ish I'm pretty sure and it flips back and forth so when you right click it once, it'll move over here. When you right click it again, it moves back over here and it repeats itself. So when you right click it once, it will turn this on, um, setting the block, redstone block, which is right here to turn this timer off. And it's also executing the block. So execute 
the armor stand to play sound dig dot stone to all players and then it is saying the block hold on <laughs> I'm kinda confused well it's saying this to a redstone block anyway and it's turning it off oh I did the wrong one sorry <laughs> it's actually this one so we have set block redstone block so that sets it there and we also have the play sound again and then the second one it actually sets that block over there to air so it pretty much just places a redstone block there oops not there there and then breaks it and then we have execute the block so the armor standing name block to set block where it's standing wool six so it's setting the block where it's standing to wool turning the timer off and um, all the four armor stands are removed and the block is still there so you can stand on it then when you right click it again it goes here and it's setting the block it's executing the armor stand to set the block where it's staying to air playing the sound and setting this block right here to redstone block to start the timer again so when I right click this you can actually see that the timer turns off and then when I right click it again the timer turns back on so that's pretty much how this works um, that's it for this video and thanks for watching here we go <laughs> Space.